Pegs, 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 pegs. Jesus, pegs. Well, what do you know? I think that's the first time I've got around that roundabout and I haven't scraped the pegs on the deck. I'm getting good at this holy thing. Hello there YouTube, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's well. Welcome to Northumberland, the land of tractors. Well, I wasn't going to head out tonight, but since the weather is absolutely gorgeous, I thought I would. And I thought I'd bring you with us. I'm trying to keep the sun to me back because it's very low. Well, we'll see how we go. Another thing I got us out was the Utah trip with Triple X Deadhead, Sean Smoke and Strip Wolf. I just watched the latest videos from Triple X and Sean Smoke and I just thought, I can't sit in the house after watching this. I have to get out and ride my bike. Now, if you're not watching these guys, you should really check them out. This Utah trip is absolutely spectacular. It looks like glorious scenery out there. And it makes me sick as a jip that I'm stuck on this bloody island. But never mind, you deal with what you've got, don't you? Uh, really, really sorry to hear about Gabe. Gabe, if you're listening, my heart goes out to you, mate. What an absolute gutter. I really, really feel for you. Uh, if you don't know, Gabe had a little bit of an incident, which is all too easy to happen on a bike, no matter how fast or how slow you're going. And it generally happens at the most inopportune times and just screws the hell out of your phone. But at least he's okay. That's the main thing. But yeah, you want to check those videos out. They're spectacular. It actually makes me want to get myself out there, take the trusty hog with us and have a blast. But, right now, I'm just glad to be out on the bike. Um, I haven't really got a topic, but I do have something rattling around in my head. Uh, it probably seems a little bit strange to talk about winter right at the minute when the weather's so nice, although those grey clouds do look a little threatening. Uh, but yeah, winter. The bad weather will be upon us. The sleet, the snow, the wet. The salt on the road, which absolutely destroys your bike. And there is no way on God green earth will I be riding the Harley Davidson in that kind of crap. Which brings up a wee dilemma. How do I vlog if I'm not riding the bike. Now, I've never really thought about it or looked into it to see what the rest of you guys do. I don't know if you just sit at home or if you just brave the weather and uh, don't really, really fornicate over your bike like I do. Or maybe you sit at home and just following myself well that's not really something I could do to be honest it's just I'm too shy I like hiding my light under a bushel don't you know yeah no it's just I, I can't really see myself doing that I want to do a few reviews in the future 
but I very much doubt I'll feature myself in them, if you know what I mean. I just, I wouldn't want to put you through that. Uh, but yeah, so what I was thinking was, I mean, what do you guys do, what do you go through, what do you, what do you shell out, what do you give up to keep your channel ticking over? Uh, basically, what does it cost you? Not money-wise, really. Uh, obviously, there's time and there's, there's a little bit of personal life goes adrift. Um, but, I mean, basically, I've been actually thinking about getting a second bike. Something I can ride in the winter in the bad weather something I wouldn't mind throwing down the road too much uh, I've been looking at an uh, an XT 660 or uh, that kind of thing obviously not new be very second hand very second hand um, the thing is I mean I can't really afford it but I don't want to give up on this vlogging thing. To be honest, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I don't have many subscribers. That doesn't bother us. Um, it's a, a self-therapeutic thing, really, more than anything else. I'm not a big talker. I don't talk to people. I have issues, as you know, if you've seen some of the other videos. You know, that's our, that's our part of life. Um, to be honest, I don't want hundreds of thousands of viewers, because that would crop me out and I'd probably stop doing it. But at the minute it's just me and a, a couple of people I've got to know. Um, but like I say I, I don't want to stop. I can't afford this bike. Um, but if it comes to it I'll share the cash and I'll, I'll buy it. Is that the wrong thing to do, do you think? Am I cracking up? Should I not be wasting my money? Should I just bite the bullet and not record through the bad weather? Or What do you think? What do you do when the weather's bad? I mean, I don't have a problem with spending money. I spend money all the time. I've already spent quite a chunk on getting this thing off the ground. Uh, I mean, there's the GoPro, there's the, the center bits and bobs, new gear, this, that and the other. I don't really think about that. I don't care about that, really. When I do something, I try and do it to the best of ability. And if that means I have to buy stuff, I'll buy the best stuff I can afford. I can't really see the point in doing something unless you're really going to give it your best shot. That's the long and the short of it, I think. And, like I say, I'm enjoying it. Oh, Jesus. Now these things grab your tyres and away you go. Obviously you guys know that. <sighs> Ah, actually this isn't too bad. The big huge fat tail on the back is obviously doing its job. Usually, oh, when I've been caught on these things before, on a sports bike, it tries to throw you all over the bloody place. But the court has handled it nicely. You're not going to be doing 40 miles an hour long, yeah? No chance. So he has a call coming up. He's going to push us. Oh, this is the end of it. That's how it is. 
Yeah, sure. I think I see a motor vlogging. I want to keep it going. Tell you what. Let's see how many years and years I get. I was in favour of me buying a bike so I can keep going over winter. Say, yeah! All those against, say, yeah. Near. Let's see what the outcome is. Uh, I've just started following a new guy. Obviously, he's, he's new to me. He's obviously been around for a good chunk of time. Oh, slippery. Uh, Robert Rob. And he was very kind enough. Jesus, his fires are steaming up. He was kind enough to comment on one of my videos just the other day, which I very much appreciate. Thank you, sir, if you're listening. And he mentioned that where he lives, to be quite honest, I do apologise, I don't exactly know where that is. But he mentioned that around those parts, there's no restriction or legislation on the size of motorcycle you can buy once you've got your license. Now, this absolutely boggles my mind because if you just passed your test on some piddly little machine, whatever, and then you grab yourself a litre monster with all the brake horsepower and all the twist and flick ability. I'm sorry, you're going to kill yourself. I don't understand the uh, the logic that the authorities must be using over there. I mean, Jesus, come on, surely it's common sense. If you just passed your test or whatever, you surely should restrict youngsters to an engine size that they're more likely to be able to control. I mean, there's some experienced guys jump on a modern sports bike, maybe after a little break or whatever, and they come straight off it because the power difference is just phenomenal. I mean, when I was a kid, when I was first learning, there was no real laws over here either. I mean, this is a long time ago, so going back to the 80s, yes, I'm an old codger. Uh, but it didn't matter because the way it was done was you bought yourself a small bike to start with and you built you got a 50, you got a, a 125, a 200, 250 up to a, a 700, what have you you built slowly but the idea that you can jump straight onto a litre bike with a little experience, I just, I cannot get my head around that. That just, that just scares the living daylights out of me. Uh, the comment came off the back of the video I did on um, youths around these parts riding scooters and riding them insanely. If those kids that I come across riding scooters over here will be able to get their hands on a litre bike, I, I just, I cannot, I can't even imagine what kind of carnage that would create. That is just, oh, it's yeah, insane. I, I, I read this comment from, from Robert Rob. Uh, several days ago now I think and this thing is still rattling around in my head I just I can't get the grips with it I just find it insane I mean the laws over here are quite strict and we do complain about them because they are so strict to be fair but the thing is in the back of your head over here you know for a fact that those laws save lives beyond shadow of a doubt 
You can complain all you want, but you can't deny the honest truth of it. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there because I'm an owl geezer and I don't shock very easily, but that comment really, really did shock me. Anyway. Actually, while I'm on about it, there's an, oh, there's a trike. Oh, he's gone the other way. That's a shame. Uh, there's another new, new to me again. Obviously, been around quite a while. Motor vlogger that I've just started following, and it's a young lady. Wheels not heels. I think she's great. She's got a lot to say. She's got a good sense of humour, and she keeps it jolly, jolly, if you like. Uh, to the point that today she was talking about wet t-shirts. No, she wasn't displaying herself in a wet t-shirt. But uh, unfortunately I made mention of uh, <coughs> a similarly embarrassing incident that I had when I was a youngster. And uh, quite possibly she'll never look at us in the same light again. Oh dear. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to go to our channel and check it out. Anyway, look at this night, man. Isn't it gorgeous? Glorious. God, I could stay out all night, but I have a wife. And I like to be by her side. So I think an hour, an hour long trek is plenty for one night. Hopefully if this weather sticks around, we'll get out again tomorrow. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, I best be off. My apologies for name dropping, but what the hell, my channel. So I'll see you guys later on, hopefully, if you stick around for more videos. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. I'll catch you on the flip side.